got a little sidetracked and took a trip to Chester, Illinois, home of LZ Cigar. Who's that? Well, he's the guy who created Popeye. Yeah, so in Chester, he says that um, his experiences with people in Chester living here is how he created all his characters. So there's statues all over the town. It's real cute cute town. They celebrate being home of Popeye. There's a sign right there. Anyway, so let's go check out Chester, Illinois. Okay, we've come across the first one since Popeye. He's number one. This is Tor, the caveman. And they have all these sponsors on each of the blocks. But... On the back of them, they usually tell you about Tor, but I guess not. Oh, here we go. Tor, 20,000 year old caveman, debuted on February 7th, 1935, as Popeye's foe, but soon became one of his most trusted friends. Sweet. He looks like a likable character. All right, on to the next. Here's another one. This is Harold Ham Gravy. Isn't he cute? Okay, let's go to his information on the back. Should be on the back, should be on the back, should be. Here we go. Ham Gravy on December 19th, 1919. Harold Ham Gravy and Olive Oil became the premier characters of Seeger's cartoon series, Thimble Theater. Popeye's debut would follow January 17th, 1929. So this guy was here before Popeye. How cool, look at his nose. He's cute. Right across the street from Ham and Gravy is olive oil, sweet pea, and Jeep. There's no information on the back of them, but we all know who olive oil is. All right, let's go to the next. Everyone loves Wimpy. Okay, Wimpy's information. Popeye's lovable hamburger, mooching associate inspired by Chester Opera House owner, William Windy Bill Schuchert, sponsored by Smith's Clan. Wimpy. I like how cute. Popeye murals. We're in a little square here that's really nice. Got a little fun pick over there. Check out this mural. That sailor man guy right there is Seeger. The one who created Popeye. This is Cole oil. Let's go see Coils at Cole's information. We have information on Cole. Yep. Father of olive oil, husband to Nana, an original cast member of Thimble Theater in 1919. That means he's before Popeye also. So Cole's character was inspired by Chester Library's founder C.B. Cole. All right. And I didn't even take notice. Where are we in front of something like, oh, it's the public library. What a beautiful setting. This town is so cute. All right, on to the next. Okay, excuse the background noise because this is a thoroughfare for these big semis. These are Popeye's Pups. Go to the back, see what we get. Popeye and the Perennial Pups. First appearances in comic strips Fido in 1916, Snits 
1920 and Chester in 1996. Notice in Chester it was a different guy. Seeger is the guy that's from here. I'm not sure about Eisman. I'll have to look it up and tell you. Anyway, who doesn't love a good pup? And now we are at the MRI place. And this is castor oil. Let's read about castor oil. Castor oil and Bernice the Wiffle Hen. Castor Olive's brother was always a schemer. In 1929, he met Bernice the Magical Hen and planned a boat trip to Dice Island. A very young Popeye was hired to pilot their boat. Elsie Cigar, the year before he died, introduced Castor Oil, the detective. The likeness erected above during Castor's 90th year. All right, let's go find the next one. And there's the Wiffle Hen. Nana oil. I'm gonna go around here and see if I can get her info. I don't want to walk on their things. Okay, Nana oil. An original cast member of Thimble Theater, she was the wife of coal oil and the mother of castle, castor oil and olive oil. And she is in front of a nursing home, I do believe. All right, Nana Oil. Some of these are tough to find. But even though the map tells you that this is at a, a smorgasbord. We'll see who this is. I'm going to do the back first since it's more convenient right here. Oh, so this is Rough House. Seeger's hard-working chef debuted on May 24th, 1931. Sorry about that. He owns and operates the Rough House Cafe since the diner serves hamburgers. Wimpy frequents the beanery in constant search of a free meal and his famous plea, I'll gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today, is synonymous with con artistry. All right, let's see what Rough House looks like. Rough House. All right, on to the next. Here we are. Here we are at the local Walmart in Chester. This is Sea Hag. Let's read Sea Hag's info. Sea Hag and Bernard the Vulture. Oh, here's Bernard. Hello, Bernard. This is a long thing here. Let's see, the Sea Hag was created by Elsie Cigar in 1929, as part of the Thimble Theater comic strip, she has become one of the principal enemies of Popeye the Sailor. Upon first meeting Popeye, she fell madly in love with him. With the aid of her pet vulture, Bernard, she consistently plots against Popeye, who remains uninterested in her romantically. In 2004, actress Kathy Bates performed the voice of the sea hag siren for the 3D CGI animated feature, Popeye's Voyage. The Quest for Pappy. I remember that one. Currently, the role of Sea Hag has been annually performed on radio by Kathy Rin. Okay, on to the next. Okay, we are at Chester High School, home of the Yellow Jackets. And this is Professor O.C. What a schnozzle. That's what it is. What a schnozzle. Elsie Cigar debuted this eccentric inventor and self-described genius on May 8, 1932 by writing him into the popular Sappho comic. The professor became a mainstay in the Popeye comic books of the 1940s. <clears throat> professor, what a schnozzle. Get it? Okay, we are at King Blozo of Spinachovia, who debuted in 1931 Thimble Theater comic strip, The Great Rough House War. Let's see what he looks like. Oh. All right, on to the next. We are at Pluto. 
Popeye's first screen villain, 1933 Bluto's comic strip, debuted 1932. All right, let's see what he looks like. Sorry. <laughs> My Bluto. All right. There is another thing. Oh, it's the same. Okay, now we're at Alice the Goon and Child. I don't know why they just say and child. Alice first appeared in 1933 as the beastly cohort of the evil sea hag. Alice the Goon and her child soon became friends with Popeye and fan favorites. Let's go see. Oh, there's the goon hiding behind. Let's go read his information. Let's go see what we got. Poop Deck Pappy. In 1936, King Feature Syndicate instructed, instructed Elsie Cigar to tone down Popeye's roughness. They feared his popular sailor was too rough for the millions of his young fans. Pappy, Popeye's ornery father, was created to fill the void. Pappy's film debut came in the classic 1938 Fleischer release, Goonland. All right, I like Pappy. He's cute. All right, let's go find the last one. Okay, this one's at Chester grade school. We actually had to spin around, come back because school was let out and yeah. We're just tourists in this town. So these miniature replicas of Popeye first appeared in dream sequence in the 1940 film, Whim is a Miscary. They returned as Popeye's four nephews in 1942 film as Pip Eye, Pup Eye, Poop Eye, and Peep Eye, and many other films for four decades. So there's Pup Eye. Which one is this one? Pip-Eye. Aww. Poop-Eye. He's sitting on a can of spinach. So oh, cute. And Peep-Eye. All right. This is where we are going to end our search for all the Popeye statues. Okay, so we found 18 statues. There's 19 actually. Well, it says there's 19 on the map, but the last one is done in 2022, named Oscar, and we couldn't find him. So maybe it doesn't get entered until later, but this is where we're going to uh, end this video. I'm gonna flip this around so you can see what we found as we Cover leave Chester. Bridge. Mary's River Covered Bridge, built in 1854, was in service from 1854 to 1930. It used to be a toll road. Well, that's interesting. Well, look at that. Oh, I'm in a trip. How beautiful. Oh, yeah. The lighting's better from this side. Yeah, let's go back through. Look at that. And of course, that's not the kind of graffiti I like.
on something that shouldn't be graffitied on. Oh. All right, this is where we're gonna close out this video. Thanks for watching.